Yes, Sri Subramanian Samuel Pratikaran Burinunda, Adelika Mukubu. All the big leaders of Congress who yeah. have gathered at EICC office, sure. uh, workers are also there. Sure. So, in a way, they are trying to show their strength. Uh, no, you see, the issue is that this vendetta question was raised before the trial uh, trial court judge, Ms. Manocha. It was raised before Justice uh, Sunil Gaur. Both have dismissed it. Supreme Court in previous judgments also in the Bhajan Lal case of 1992, they dismissed it. They say that each time, maybe there is a vendetta, but the fact is we have to look at the data, the facts and so on. If the facts are strong, it doesn't matter whether the person has brought it to the notice of the police authorities because of a vendetta. Uh, Mr. Swami, uh, were you also briefing the senior leadership of Bharti Janata Party? Because this is what uh, an, another call, uh, allegation of Congress. Uh, well, I have so many friends. I'm an old Jansangi. I started my career in Jansang. All these people, many of them, when I was youth president, they used to be my general secretaries, like Venkaya Naidu was my state president of Andhra. I know them all personally. I, we run into each other all the time. They will ask me, what is, you know, what's going on in this? Where, where will it go? Have you got enough material? That sort of thing. I, that is, if you call that uprising, I have not taken an appointment to the Prime Minister and gone and spoken to him at all. In fact, I have never spoken to the Prime Minister verbally in his office on this question. Mr. Swami, what next? Uh, no, they, I will lead evidence in February. And they, I wanted to do it right away. But they said, no, no, please give us till February. Then I said to Sibyl, if you say please, I will agree to a adjournment. So he said, please uh, have it on February 20th. I said, okay. Mr. Swami, many of us were not there inside the court room. Yes. What exactly happened? All I went, my, my, my wife, who's also a lawyer, who's also my teacher in law, and uh, then my two, uh, uh, you know, uh, people who have been connected, uh, Ishkaran uh, Bandari and uh, 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 Jatinder uh, Chaudhary, who are standing at the back, they were there, and then there was Dilip Kumar, who is practices in the... Uh, in the uh, Patella court. We three were there, uh, they three were there, my wife was there, I was there, we were sitting. Uh, first came Ahmad Patel, uh, you know, he, he had exchange, uh, exchange greetings and went and took the back row. And then after some time the lawyers came, of course they are all very friendly, I know them from a long time. And then of course uh, Mrs. Gandhi and uh, Priyanka Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi, they trooped in and they were put in a corner where the accused are supposed to stand, they were not allowed to sit. Uh, except Motilal Vora, who's uh, I think 88 or 87 or 88, he was allowed to sit on seeking permission to sit. So uh, the court then uh, said, I thought they will say uh, they will not take bail, but uh, which is what they've been announcing. But they produced a ready-made uh, bail application and they put it before the judge. And then the judge said, OK, uh, who's going to uh, stand uh, surety? So it turned out for Sonia Gandhi, it was uh, A.K. Antony, and for uh, Rahul Gandhi, it was uh, Priyanka Gandhi, and five, uh, you know, each of them. Uh, I don't think Manmohan Singh was asked to be a surety for anybody. Maybe they're not sure of him. But the fact is that uh, they never protested, uh, saying, no, no, we want... At one stage, they made a passing remark about exemption. The judge said, no, 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 we'll see at the next hearing, uh, you'll have no, no exemption. So the exemption part was not exempt. Accepted. Then he asked me, you have anything? I said, yes. These people have a habit of disappearing. And sometimes they disappear for 57 days without notice. And, you know, trial will get delayed. So, therefore, uh, you know, you should, they should seek your permission before going abroad. Then he said, well, you know, they are very, very held, very responsible position. And at this stage, I cannot think that they will leave just like that to disrupt our court. So, uh, I will not accept that. That means that in future, if they do that, they leave and the court is going to uh, meet and they are supposed to be here, then I can again raise it. So I was quite satisfied with the way everything went. Then there was a question of date when I will start the evidence. And then there will be cross-examination and all that. So in that, you see, I think uh, the uh, issue uh, uh, of when that would be held, uh, they wanted some documents. I said I'll give it to them in uh, one week, the complaint copy, etc which they already have from the high Delhi, in the Delhi High Court. But still, there's a technicality, so they wanted an extra copy. So I agreed to that, and they wanted, I wanted the date in January. They, uh, they said, no, February, then it was said 13th. Then Sybil said, no, please make it 20th. And I said, I won't agree. The judge was also on my side on this. But then I told, uh, he said, please. So I said, if you say please, I will agree, and I agree. Sorry, in Hindi. Hindi.
ഓക്കെ ആജ് സുബ്രഹ്മണ്യ സമയുടെ വാക്കുകളാണ് നമ്മൾ കേട്ടത്